Hello, you're watching a Unipro Eugene podcast. We are delighted to introduce you to the Sanger Reads Editor, a new major feature released in Eugene, version 1.27. This feature can be used when a set of Sanger Reads are aligned to a known reference sequence. From the tool's Sanger Data Analysis menu, select Map Reads to Reference. We are going to align 10 sequence trace files to a norovirus reference genome. Each read will be trimmed by quality using the specified threshold and aligned to the reference sequence only in the case that they are similar enough. By default, the results will be stored in a file specified here. You may change the file name if required. Click Align. After the alignment task is finished, the result is opened in a new Sanger Reads editor window. Here we see the sequences with the trace chromatograms. The reference and the consensus sequence are shown at the top of the window. To see the overall picture of the reads aligned to the reference, look at the overview at the bottom of the window. You can find a forward or reverse orientation mark of each Sanger Read nearby its name. If required, we may hide a chromatogram for a particular read. Or hide all chromatograms at once by clicking the Show Hide Chromatograms button on the toolbar. We may also tune the height of the peaks using this slider. Now, let's find and correct all ambiguities. Use this toolbar button to jump to the next ambiguous character, such as N, or a degenerate base character of the UPAC notation. For example, here we clearly see the green peak, so we shall replace the N character with the A. To do that, select it in the reads area, press Shift R, and input the correct character. For more editing options, see the Actions Edit menu. For example, we may choose the Trim Right End item in the menu to remove all bases just after the selected character. When all ambiguities are resolved, we may look in detail at the consensus sequence. The consensus calculation settings can be adjusted on the consensus tab of the Options panel. By default, the simple extended algorithm is selected. It uses the extended DNA alphabet in case of uncertainty. At this tab, you can also export the consensus data to a file, if necessary. To navigate by variations between the reference and the consensus sequence, use these buttons. Jump to next variation and jump to previous variation. To use the features of the alignment editor, you can export the data without chromatogram traces into the simple alignment format, such as Clustal W. We hope you'll find the Sanger Reads Editor useful. Thank you for watching this video.